to discuss the health union strike action and its implications. You can see I'm being joined in the news at 10 by the national president of the joint health sector unions, Mr. Josiah Bio, all the way from Abuja. Thanks a lot for joining us from the news at 10. Thank you. Now, we understand there was a 30-day ultimatum and then a 7-day ultimatum before this strike action. Did you not get any response from the government at all concerning your grievances within that period? Uh, certainly, we didn't get any response that would have warranted uh, averting the strike action. Okay. Yeah. And if, if I can understand what you're I saying... I said we did, did not get, get any. Okay. We did okay, not get at... any response, any positive response from the government. Okay. Now let's look at some of um, the Even when demands. we gave them a short list of uh, um, three uh, issues that they must attend to before we can take to our members in the special neck in uh, Loring, we couldn't get any. So at the special neck in uh, Loring, the members made it clear that uh, enough is enough since the patient dog never gets any bone to eat anymore then the patient dog will no longer be patient looking at some of the demands that you have listed there you've listed quite a few of them let's start with the issue of obsolete equipment you've talked about poor maintenance of facilities these are issues that tend to count across the health sector generally anyway so how do you think this can be resolved in terms of how feasible your demands are right now uh, thank you. Um, talking about uh, health service, it's not just the personnel. And uh, if you look at uh, the health uh, institutions or structures all around the Federation, you can see that uh, they are not in good shape. And uh, if we are unable to put or give in the best because we lack certain uh, infrastructure and uh, equipment, you know, the blame will go that. Uh, we are not actually ready to discharge our duties, and that's why it's a very important demand for us. Um, we have also asked that uh, more funding should be provided for the health sector so that uh, these can be put into better shape. Uh, aside that, our demands dates back, some dates back to 2009, some 2012, and uh, 2014. Topmost, the adjustment of current salaries uh, skipping and the disrespect for court judgments that uh, the federal government after taking us to court most times and then uh, when the courts rule they, dis they disrespect those uh, rulings and they refuse to implement what the court has said. Well, this but is the same government again is always very quick to go to court to get a restraining order rather than coming to solve the problems. And uh, this uh, dated back to last year, 2016, when we embarked on the seven days warning strike. And then, because we have concern for the Nigerian citizen and appeals were made, we suspended the action. And the government said it will deal with all the issues. And as we speak today, nothing was done. We gave 30 days notice, dated the 14th of uh, August which expired 13th of September. And again, we gave another final seven days notice, but in the, in the normal way that the ministry is known for, or the government is known for, they waited for the last minute, and then they tried to ambush us by saying uh, they've called for discussions. And when we went there, true and behold, all the items listed, no one was given proper attention, all was just promissory notes. All right, National President of the Joint Health Sector Union, Mr. Josiah Bio, thank you for joining us on the News at 10 tonight.